Nate, at 6, the crash that took the lives of those four teenagers in Griswold earlier this week left their hometown devastated and also had an impact on other communities. And now teens in Bristol are trying to do something they hope will save lives. Channel 3, Susan Raff is here now with more. Susan? We met some remarkable teenagers today who told us that they are very deeply touched by what's been going on in Griswold, and they've been paying close attention, and they are deeply saddened. And right now, they have a unique opportunity to try and prevent this from happening to others. It was sad because I was looking, I found that boy's Facebook page, and I saw all their friends writing to him saying how sad they were going to miss them. Teenagers at Bristol Eastern High School are doing more than just feeling bad. They are putting together a PSA on teen driving. The students have come up with their own script and are producing it and shooting it themselves. If adults talk to kids, we tend to like look away and not listen. But if other teens um, talk to teens, they listen and feel the same way. Here in the parking lot at the high school, they are taping at a stoplight. Ricky Haas says they wanted to grab people's attention at the start of the PSA. One of the students is taking a shower inside the car. I thought starting it off humorous would, um, would be the way to go. Catch the teen's eye, and then they just realize, oh, this is serious. Haas says you wouldn't take a shower in a car, so the message here is why would you text or speed or drive illegally? Four teenagers were killed this week in Griswold. It's not clear what caused the crash. We do know that the driver, who was 16, did not have a driver's license. These students are hoping their message will get through. It's spreading awareness and it's getting all our ideas out there and they can really be aware of their surroundings. The PSAs are judged by teenagers and adults and last year there were nearly 100 entries and students at Bristol Eastern placed in the top 10. The prize, we're told, is $4,000. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Susan. A community is rallying to help home.